Hello everybody, it's Mark from Herotech Systems and today we're going to talk about uh, bringing up the Cisco IOS. It's a continuation of uh, the Cisco Packet Tracer training for beginners. So let us head down to uh, Cisco Packet Tracer. So today we're going to look at how to bring up the Cisco IOS and uh, IOS means Internet Network Operating System and then we'll be configuring the Cisco router from the CLI of uh, the device. So I'm going to be working with the 2911 uh, which is a member of the 2900 series router so this is my router here and uh, we're going to look at how to work our way around the router if you're new to using packet tracer uh, I think uh, we should do this for you so um, yeah so I'm just going to zoom in now okay so this picture that we see here represents or shows you the back of the router because I can see the power cable here and then we have this green light showing here uh, that indicates that the uh, device is switched on so we can switch off and then switch back on and then here I have different slots where I can put in uh, modules so for example I have the gigabit SFP module I have the serial uh, uh, two port serial module I have the four switching ports module so for me to impute these modules into these slots I need to first turn off the router so to do that I'll come here I'll turn it off and then I can take my four switching ports and put it here and then take my serial ports and put it here just drag and drop drag and drop yes and then I can turn back on so to get to the CLI of the router what we need to do is I have four different tabs here so CLI is the one I want so I will click on CLI so I if I click on this now it's asking me a question um, okay so it says would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog yes or no so this question if you're just bringing up your router for the first time if you're following this uh, tutorial uh, this question means that uh, it's asking you if you want to set the router manually so I don't recommend the process I don't recommend the process of setting the, the router manually so anytime I popped up with this question I just say no so the router then brings us to the user mode okay just want us to say very clearly okay so it brings us to the user mode indicated with this um, greater than sign icon so when you see uh, the name of the device which is router uh, with this greater than sign it tells you that you are in the user mode so the user mode is uh, normally used as a stepping stone to get to the privileged mode so to move from the user mode to the privileged mode uh, we use a command called enable 
enable so you can see that the privilege mode is um, indicated with this hash sign here so when you see the host name with the hash sign you can tell that you are in the privilege mode or the privilege executive mode so to go back one step that is to move from the privilege mode to the user mode there are two commands that you can use so for example I could use um, exit and it will return me back to the user mode I can type enable to enter like I did before or I can use EN for short to enter so the second method is to use the logout so you see logout um, so it takes me back to the user mode so I'm going to go back now from the, the privilege mode is majorly used to view statistics to view uh, statistics uh, router configuration uh, if you want to maybe save your configuration you can do that in the privilege mode or erase configuration that can be also that can also be done in the privilege mode the privilege mode is also a stepping stone to get to the global configuration mode so to get to the conf the global configuration mode i'm going to use this command configure configure terminal so you can see it brings me to this mode you can see what I have here I have this config here telling me that I am in the configuration mode so this is the global configuration mode and this is where you create configurations that affect the whole router so that's why it's called global configuration because uh, it affects the whole router so uh, that is how to bring up the uh, Cisco uh, iOS and get to the CLI of the device now there are some very useful tips that uh, we can use to walk our way around the CLI so let's exit uh, I can use exit to move from the uh, glo uh, global configuration mode back to the privilege mode and then the same exit to come back to the user mode now there is a function that uh, is very helpful when you are using the Cisco uh, CLI it is the help function it is very useful there are times when as an administrator I get to the CLI and I can't remember um, I can't remember a, a particular command that I need to do a certain, a certain task so what I do is I use the question mark so the question mark would display all the configurations that are associated with a particular with a particular mode sorry so if I put a question mark here I can see I can see all the configurations that are associated with the privileged mode so you can see I have auto clear clock connect delete um, and so on and so forth uh, make directory ping reload so it's, it's telling me more here so it means that this these commands are not complete there are still more so for me to 
see more of the commands I'll click my space uh, my space bar on the on my keyboard so now I can see more of the commands so I can see more of the commands so that is how to use the uh, the question mark that's the help key so for me to get to the global configuration mode I can use uh, the short form of configure terminal so conf t and enter I can also use the uh, question mark to see all the commands that are associated with the global configuration mode so you can see all the commands that are associated with the global configuration mode so just in case you forget a command and you can see the command and you can see it also carries an explanation of what the command does so you see it is a very very helpful um, tool to use in the Cisco um, CLI so um, so that is how you can um, use the Cisco CLI and you can use the help uh, key or the help tool to, to uh, get to see commands that are associated with each of the uh, different levels so uh, let, I'm going to exit now now if you do not have the Cisco Packet Tracer uh, downloaded on your PC and you cannot follow this um, uh, tutorial uh, in the first lesson I did a comprehensive uh, lecture on how to download and install Cisco Packet Tracer on your PC irrespective of the type of operating system that your PC is running so the link to that video is in the description so you could go there and download uh, click the link and then watch the video um, so on this mode like I said you can on the privilege mode you can view um, router configuration so I'm just going to view this conf um, view the configuration the default configuration on the router uh, with the command show run so that's the short form the full command is show so let's see let's 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 use it let's say for example I don't know how what 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 to use so I'm going to use this key and then uh, I can see show here it says show running system information so I'm going to type show now after show I really don't know uh, what to use so I'm going to say okay come back show show running configuration current operating configuration I want to see the current operating configuration so show running config now another tool that's helpful if you don't want to type so uh, uh, overburden yourself with typing a lot of uh, commands you can use the tab key the tab the tab helps to do uh, auto completion so if I press the tab key you see it helps me complete the command which is very helpful uh, very helpful so show running configuration so I can see my host name I can first see the version uh, of iOS which the device is running 15.1 I can see my host name which is router and then pressing the spacebar I can view the configuration for the device so thank you very much that is how to bring up the CLI of a Cisco router in Cisco Packet Tracer I'm using version 8 point zero point one um, if you are new to networking uh, and you want a guide uh, that explains networking uh, technologies in a very 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 summarized way uh, in a way where you don't have to read bulky text books to move from uh, beginner level to intermediate level uh, I have written a guide and the link to that guide is in the description click on the link to download the guide to so move from uh, 
the uh, basic level to an intermediate level in record time if this video has been helpful to you please do not forget to like the video uh, because that's the only way we can you know push the video to more uh, people who will also find it helpful and then also subscribe to the channel and then click the notification bell to uh, uh, be updated when I up, when I, I release a new video also please you can help like share the video uh, to be very helpful thank you very much